When we were doing our research, we tried to focus on using two different tools. We focused on the buyer persona, either the target audience or the people you are trying to get attracted to your personal brand online, and the buyer persona spring that listed your business objective, i.e. your personal career objective, and the channels, the content, and the data that you might be able to gather, as well as the target audience. So if you think of all these five stages of the buyer persona spring, did all of these uh, stages materialize in the way you wanted when you were trying to implement this work? Have you found that the person that you were trying to engage were actually not interested in your content? Maybe some other people were interested and you might have got a job offer just as a result of doing this activity. Here is a great opportunity for you to revise each one of the uh, boxes again and see whether the business model that you wanted to look at as well as the fit with the buyer persona spring and the buyer persona all fit together. We are doing this because we want to now think about your lifeline as an individual beyond the lifeline of this course. We are trying to think what it is that you might want to do once this course finishes and you've done your assessment and now you are thinking about your career and how you want to engage with the individuals and companies beyond the lifeline of these activities. So to summarize, let's revise your buyer persona and your buyer persona spring and make sure that there is a link between the buyer persona, buyer persona spring, as well as your revised business model because ultimately we are now thinking about you beyond the lifeline of this course and how you will be developing these things in the future.